don't know how, man. On well, my big camera right now, my DSLR, I'm vlogging with my tripod, my Joby. I don't know how some of you YouTubers do it. This is awkward. It's weird. Maybe I'm just not used to it. What's up guys? What's going on? So it is currently 12.16 right now in the afternoon and I am currently warming up. Meal number two. Uh, second meal of the day. I had my breakfast earlier today around 9.30 uh, and um, normally I would wait about another hour to eat but uh, I have a client. My first client today is at 4 so I have to get my workout in a little earlier and I like to have two meals and my rice cake snack in before I lift every day just because it helps with my energy, helps with the pump, etc. So that's why I do it that way. So I'm eating a little early, you know, meal timing, if you're off just a slight bit, really is not gonna affect you too much. So what I got for meal number two is eight ounces of turkey burger, some asparagus, eight ounces of potato, and I've been eating some red peppers. Wait. Almost dropped the camera there. Um, I've been eating red peppers with my meals um, just because Really enjoy the taste. It really doesn't add much extra calories or anything like that. Um, it's just, you know, I'm trying to do something a little bit different to get my taste buds to you know, have something different on them. You know, a little, little something different on my palate. So, you know, you guys can do that. Uh, for me, I like peppers, red peppers and green peppers, stuff like that. So I've been snacking on those anytime I'm getting hungry. I've been dieting now for about seven weeks. And I still got another eight or nine weeks to go, so I'm just doing little small things to kind of keep me sane. So, about to eat that, I'm gonna take a shower, and then I'm gonna head to the mall, and then to work. So, I'll catch with you guys in a little bit. What's up, guys? What's up? It is now one o'clock, and I'm heading to the gym. Today, I got back and bicep workout that I'm gonna be doing. And that's it. I don't know if I'll do cardio today or not. I did cardio yesterday. I've only been doing it three days a week. But I've changed my cardio this week. There are some changes that I gotta talk to you guys about. Um, I changed my cardio this week to two days on the stepper and then one day on the treadmill. So I'm trying to keep those two days on the stepper away from my leg days uh, just because my leg days are gonna be cardio oriented essentially. Whether I like it or not, usually leg days are just high intensity, they get my heart rate up. So I'm gonna try to keep those separate. So I might just do my second day of cardio today. I, I really haven't made that decision yet. It'll be a game time decision. So that's one change. Um, I did add, I think I told you guys last week, but if I didn't, I'll say it again. I uh, made my cardio three days a week now, rather than two days a week. So I've been doing three days of 20 minutes on a stepper and then the uh, I'm sorry, two days, 20 minutes on the stepper, one day on the treadmill for 30 minutes of low intensity. So that's where I'm at with my cardio. I'm currently sitting right now at six weeks out. Uh, weight is at about the same, about 178, which is fine. I don't plan to lose much more. I'll probably step on stage right around the 174 range, if I had to guess. It's probably where I'll be, which is I'm fine with. I'm doing physiques this year, so I don't have to really worry about weight. Obviously, weight's something you want to take and you know, factor when it comes to losing you know, fat and whatnot, but for the most part, I'm not too worried about the pounds. That's why I haven't even showed you guys the scale, just because I'm not really worrying about the scale at all. I'm just more or less concerned about you know what I see in the mirror, so that's what's going on with that. Uh, Diet-wise, I know I told, I'm gonna do a full day of eating video for you guys, but I wanna let you in because I've been getting numerous, numerous questions about how I'm eating and my macros and whatnot. Currently, my macro range, my protein is about 220 grams. I'm sitting about 180, so just a little over a gram and a half, I think, um, of protein per body weight. My carbs were, they started my diet at 380, came down to about 350. And now I have them sitting at about 320. And I'll probably keep them at 320. Uh, almost probably until the show, unless I feel that I have to change. I've been holding water this week and last week due to some things that I messed up. I don't really want to go into detail about that. Also, um, I've been low on sodium. 
and this wasn't even something I thought about until me and my coach had a conversation. I switched seasoning from last year, I, every year I've ever prepped, I've always used the same kinds of seasonings, which are higher in sodium. They're not like outrageously high, but they're higher. Um, but this year I switched to Flavor God, which is significantly lower in sodium. And those of you guys who know anything about nutrition, I'm not gonna go into the full explanation, but being sodium deprived is not good for you. Um, it also can cause you to hold water. And I believe that is a big factor as to why I'm holding water. So I've added more sodium into my diet. I'm hoping that takes care of the issue. I think it will. We'll see, I guess about two or three days. We'll see. Um, just been, I've been holding a lot of extra, like I talked to you guys in my lower back, which is why I included the stepper, because I'm trying to do some glute work to get some fat and water out of my lower back area. Just minor tweaks, guys, minor tweaks. This is why I am a prep coach, but this is why I have a coach because two heads is better than one, especially when it comes to prepping. You know, I'm trying to compete, hopefully at a high level soon. And, you know, it takes more than just yourself, to, you know, to look at your body. I would have never even have thought of the sodium change, even though it's something that I should, you know, would normally be able to see in other clients. For me, it was just something that I completely looked over because I'm looking over so many other variables that I completely uh, didn't even think about it. But. It's all good. We're gonna get it fixed. I got six weeks, plenty of time. I'm lean. I can't complain at all, guys. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop at the mall because I'm gonna try to pick up the new Kobe's that just came out or the Jordan Retro Fives, the Lows. I don't know if either, they'll have either of them. I'm hoping they will have at least one pair because I like both of them. So I'm gonna go pick those up before I head into work, and then I'll get up with you guys, uh, show you guys my pre-workout meal that I eat every day before I work out, and then work out, go.
what's up guys so just finished my back workout I'm tired now had a good workout real good workout um, didn't go as heavy as I would have liked today but um, my strength was just down today but I did get a lot of good focus in good I got really good quality reps all work, the whole workout so feel good uh, just taking a breather right now before I pose um, guys if you are prepping for a show or if you're thinking about doing a show I cannot stress you enough how important posing is. I spend at least 15 minutes a day, every day, practicing my posing. Posing is just as important as a workout, as missing a meal, etc. Um, you know, you can work your ass off, you can be the most shredded person at that competition, but if you don't know how to show it off right, or if you don't know how to pose, you're not going to win. So, uh, stage presence and posing is extremely important, so I highly, highly recommend you guys practicing that every single day. So I'm gonna get ready to practice my posing. Where I pose is right here. Fortunately, the gym I work at has this great room that I use and there's not classes going on during the times I'm done working out. So I get to pose, it's kinda nice. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have my post-workout meal. My post-workout meal is a protein shake, uh, my monster whey that I showed you guys. And then I have five rice cakes. I've been eating the white cheddar rice cakes. Uh, they're really, really good. So. That's what I got going on, and I got clients the rest of the night, so I'll catch up with you guys tonight. <sighs> Redbox is so convenient until you're tired as fuck. And you forget that you have to take it back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, guys, uh, the new James Bond movie. I don't know the name of it, but the new one that just came out. Really, really good. Highly suggest you guys pick that up. But not from Redbox, because Redbox is really inconvenient. I mean, it is convenient at the time until you have to take it back. Like, it's super convenient when you're like, man, I need a movie real quick. But then when you're like, shit, I gotta take it back. Like, then you gotta drive all the way to Redbox. Super inconvenient. So, that's what I'm doing. The only reason I'm not completely mad about it is because Redbox is at Acme, and I'm gonna pick up some pudding. Sugar-free pudding because it sounds delicious and I'm craving it. Hardcore as fuck right now. Real question is what kind should I get? Decisions. Decisions. Vanilla? on top. The kind's really good. I forget the name of it though. They don't have it. It's really upsetting. Oh no, they do have it. The Boston cream pie. That's what I was talking about. That's not right either. Whatever. I don't really care. Kind of the caramel on top. That's my favorite kind. Of. That one is also good. So I'm gonna get whatever. I love the look, guys, when you're vlogging in somewhere public. The looks you get when you're talking to a camera. People look at you like you're fucking crazy. It's hilarious, but it's all good. I don't care. I'm doing it for you guys, not for them. But maybe they're them, so maybe I am doing it for them. Who knows? Whatever. I'm gonna check out, go home, cook. Um, pudding, sugar free. It's only got like 10 carbs, I think. I'm not really sure. I'm really suffering right now from prep brain. If you guys don't know what prep brain is, it's when you're prepping and you're depleted and you've had a long day and you feel retarded. That's how I feel right now. But it's all good. We're still in a good mood. Still got lots to do. I just gotta edit the video that you guys have been watching. Yeah, but I got the pudding because super, super amazing. And I've been craving pancakes, and I'm gonna go home and cook pancakes for dinner. And I'm gonna put the pudding on top of the pancakes. It's delicious, super, super good. For extra 10 carbs, I'm in, full blown in. And it fits right in because I still have 80 grams of carbs left to eat for the day. So we're all good. I'm gonna put that pudding on there. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna get the edit in this video, and I am going to bed, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, 
in response to the last comment I got in one of the videos, someone asked me to make a video about how someone should be eating. Um, I'll message you back because I need your email. Um, I really can't make a v e uh, like a video of like how someone should be eating because everyone's different. You know, I eat 300 grams of carbs and I lose body fat. Other people can barely eat 100 grams of carbs and lose body fat. So everyone's different. Um, so for me to make a video, it would I can make a video of how you shouldn't be eating. I don't know, um, but I can't really make a video of like how you should eat exactly. I mean, I guess I could. But I don't know, I, I, that, that video could, would probably get a lot of criticism because people are like, well, what about this person that can't eat that? And what about this guy who's lactose and toilet? Fuck those people. But that's why I can't necessarily make a video just because everyone's so different. And really, diets have to be customized for you. I'm not one of those people who does cookie cutter diets and workouts and stuff. I like to make them custom and to fit you personally because everyone's different. And yeah, so. Here's my answer to that. Peace!